Popular Demand, Drayton Entertainment presents Sorry, I'm Canadian, a charming blend of comedy, political satire, and musical gems. Neil Aitchison stars as the iconic Mountie, hosting a coast-to-coast -coast tour of heritage and humor in this remount with an updated script. Well, we've had to lose Kretchen and Bush and so on and bring in Obama and Harper and, of course, the Senate is such easy pickings with... Duffy and Wallen and company. <laughs> Did I mention my faithful horse's name? Duffy. <laughs> Duffy. <laughs> yeah. I picked him up last fall at the Royal Winter Fair. A real steal, $90,000. <laughs> Director Alex Moustakas collaborated with a comedy legend to write the original show. Uh, I remember I had a meeting with Dave Broadfoot and I and, uh, and talked about this concept of maybe doing a show like this. And, and, uh, and before I left, I saw something on his table and it was uh, a part script of, of uh, you know, all, all the things that are Canadian to him and his satire. And I said, can I borrow this? And he let me have it and I went home and I read it and I contacted him and said, listen, I think we could put a show together with this material. And then, uh, you know, we added the Canadian songbook and our own material. Dave is 88 this year, but he still can write like the best of them. And we had to ask him to hold off, back off, Dave, don't send any more because we already put a script together and we're, and we're learning it now. From the wheat fields of my heart, go find your way to the cool Hudson's Bay. Roll on, roll on, Saskatchewan. Four fantastic musicians who have the best harmonies you can imagine. Frank Parks plays nephew Cliffy. A hick with hip hop rap. Anthony Stratford, Christopher Plummer, Justin Bieber, all for the summer. Mucklucks, hot pucks, archibuds, fiddleheads, funny old geezers, bloody Caesars. Keep on evolving, never look back. What do we get? Color red black! <laughs> they were little kids dancing with us, the Bala Bunch out of Teeswater, Ontario. Now they're young adults, except for Matthew, who's 13. But the others are 22, 20, and 18, and they are amazing. They're so good looking, they're so wonderful to work with. They play the fiddle as well as step. And they make the Waltons look like axe murderers. They're such a lovely family. It's two hours of non-stop laughter. We poke fun at ourselves as, as Canadians right across the country, but at the end of it, we feel really, really patriotic. So why do we Canadians say sorry all the time, eh? Seems we say sorry more often than we say hey, eh? Yeah, when a stranger accidentally bumps into us, we say sorry. Trying to get someone's attention, we say sorry, I don't mean to bother you. Ask someone to repeat themselves, we say sorry. I don't know who else could deliver this material in such a great folksy way and, and, and make us laugh like that and make us think and make us feel proud and make us laugh at ourselves. Taking your seat in the theater, you say sorry, sorry, sorry. Canadians say sorry for everything. And uh, you know, that, that's probably where the title came from for the show. Sorry, I'm Canadian. Dunfield Theater, Cambridge through August 3, here on Country Playhouse, August 7 to 31. Canada, where washrooms are called restrooms. Yet how rarely we ever hear anyone say, hurry up in there, I'm tired. <laughs> if I don't get some rest pretty soon, I'm gonna burst. <laughs> Canada, where people insist that safe sex means adding a railing to the side of the bed. <laughs> Canada, where people actually believe a penile implant is a stool pigeon in a federal prison. <laughs> Canada, 
where bald headed men let their hair grow very, very long on one side, and then sweep it up over and hook it behind the ear on the other side. Why? Because it looks so natural.